Calvin Duro, and today I will be talking, if you can fix one intersection in Baton Rouge, <laughs> which one and how? This is a great question, because I sit in traffic every day on the way home from work, and all of the traffics have terrible lights. Um, if I had to pick one intersection, it would be the one um, by the Circle K in Burbank. Do you want to know that one? Um, I think that light is just too short. In general, I sit down that one from like Highland all the way to Burbank, trying to take a left at that Sonic right there. Um, other than that, the ride home is, is pretty pretty good until you get to like the LSU area. Traffic's always bad around five or six. But um, I think another intersection would be <coughs> right there at um, Highland trying to take a left onto that road because traffic's all the way back up to Highland. So if that light would be great, you can get traffic to flow all the way through and then we'd be backed up all the way to Highland. Um, um, I guess if I had to pick another intersection, it would be on Perkins because that's always backed up trying to get to the interstate. So if you're just trying to leave Baton Rouge, trying to get out of town, you're sitting in traffic, trying to get on the interstate. People go in the left lane to try to get around and cut you off. So I think that would be another intersection I would fix. Um, I could also fix the potholes. There's a lot of potholes on the roofs. And I don't have a new car, but it's pretty new. And I would hate to mess up my car, drive through those potholes. Love being where they are, because I've been through Baton Rouge. But is there any questions? Do you feel that roundabouts are a more effective intersection than red lights? Yes, but I feel like people don't really know how to use them. Mm -hmm. 